Well, wait, what's that? Golden Sphere. Pixel? No, what's that about pixels? Uh, oh, yeah. The DMCA takedowns for the movie Pixels are so intense that they're removing videos on YouTube with the word Pixel. And uh, they've even gotten their own trailers taken down. Holy accidentally. shit. Accidentally. Like, the thing is, videos they made and uploaded themselves, the uh. Pixels team, are, they're taking down their own videos. It's so out of control. Because, well, it's damage it's control. There's a... so much damage control trying to save face. Like, the Why movie. Why did they even feel the need to do that? The movie was so terrible. That they're scared people will talk about it. Um, same thing as Fantastic Four. Do you see all the shit with that? That's a whole ball of wax. It's just, it's so... Fantastic Four. I heard about that the day it came out. Did you hear about... And then about, I heard it was shit. Well, did you hear about all the controversies behind it? And oh, how uh, uh, Fox, the entire reason Fox made that movie was because if they didn't make the movie, the rights would divert back to Marvel. So they made the movie as fast as possible, oh, and they got oh. Joss Trank to direct it, who basically, the only thing he ever directed before that was Chronicle, and it wasn't that great of a movie, it was okay. I could see why they got him, but then they got him, and he caused like hundreds of thousands of dollars in damages to all the, uh, the uh, amenities to the uh, studio. Uh -huh. destroying everything. He was drunk all the time. He arrived to direct it high and high as a kite directing it and treated everyone like shit. Yeah. All the actors put down the movie in interviews. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Fox didn't like it, what he did. And Fox wanted to try to turn it into a cinematic universe because we all want a piece of that pie. Uh -huh. Even even at the expense of the quality of the movie. So they slopped off the last half of the movie. Fox came in with their own ghost director. Mm -hmm. They ghost directed the last half of the movie. It looks like shit. All the costumes changed a little bit for the second half. My God. They put a bad looking wig on one of the characters. Shot the last half of it completely half assed to get it done the way they wanted to do to do it. And with CGI that would not look out of place in a sci fi T V original movie from like two thousand five. And uh That's bonkers. And it's just a complete disaster. They lost like eighty million dollars on the production, uh, and at uh, theatrical releases of the film, after the movie was over, they handed out surveys to people watching the movie, asking them what to do with the franchise. Oh my god! Have you ever seen a more a bigger well, red flag than getting yeah, a survey when you went explains, in to see how to fix it? That explains why it came right the fuck out of nowhere. Yeah, and was just shit on by everybody. <laughs> It's got like 9% on Rotten P Tomatoes, less than Rot pixels. Did you almost call it Rotten Potatoes? No. <laughs> rotten p <laughs> No, no, I, I just stammered it a bit. It's, it's Rotten Potatoes. Yeah, okay. Anyway, it's, it's a Rotten Potato, that movie. Potatoes don't rot easily. <laughs> <laughs> it, this potato was just all full of little eyes. Yeah. You ever get one of those potatoes that was all eyes? Mm -hmm. And it was all little thorns and shit, and <laughs> smells like dirt. It's like yeah, that. Yeah, you just don't want to eat it. That's this potato. Uh -huh. It's one bad potato. You wouldn't even turn it into a potato chip. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that Fantastic Four movie looks like garbage. I don't know, it's a really off topic for this channel to talk about it, but... Yeah, but anyway... It's, it's so bad that it's... it. Uh, like, it, you have to talk about it. It's amazing how bad it is, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, it... What was... What killed it? What, the first thing that killed it, originally was that they tried to make a Fantastic Four movie that was so dark and so gritty and so dark nighty mm -hmm. and you can't have a movie like that with a character who stretches someone who turns on fire someone who's made of rock yeah. and someone who disappears like you just you can't shouldn't, it, you shouldn't do it if Marvel, it just... if, if Marvel made that movie it would have been decent because mm -hmm. they Marvel Studios seems to know how to treat the material the same way the comic writers do. Yeah. Like, just say, well, you know, we know the audience isn't stupid, and let's just give them what they want to see. Like, they don't care how they became Fantastic Four. They just want to see them doing things that are fantastic. Let's yeah. do that. And they always seem to bring in the right director to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm... I've considered... Uh, seeing Ant-Man too just because of that 
everyone was saying Ant Man was decent just because yeah. it's just because the novelty of seeing someone who was tiny. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it wasn't great. It that's didn't have a very to be great. thing. That's the very thing that bothers me about it. Yeah, they're all, they're all decent. Yeah, I know. They're all like, if you're in a different city, and you're just riding around with your family, and you're trying to decide what movie to see. Ant Man would be a fantastic movie to see with yeah. everyone. It's not going to offend anyone. It's, uh -huh. it's not. It's something that everybody would like. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And but like every six months, there's a new one. <laughs> that's the thing. It's like a burger. It's just like yeah, going out to get some a, fast food. It's like it's a cinematic hamburger. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh -huh. Like uh, and Fantastic Four was like, it was like a, like you go to the supermarket to buy a salmon steak that's like this long and weighs three pounds. You're like, this is going to be great, and you get all the ingredients and stuff, and you mm. get the. You get the uh, steak spice that you're going to force onto the fish, and the, mm. you're going to go cook it, and then you're going, you're flipping it up in the pan, yeah, 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 and then you flip the pan, and the steak, the salmon steak goes right into the garbage can, and you're like, God damn it! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's exactly what all these try her dark, edgy superhero movies are like. Like, <laughs> instead, you could have just went to McDonald's and not risked it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah, because your options are like uh, Dark Knight and Man of Steel. Yeah. Two, like, two movies on the opposite ends of the spectrum <laughs> of quality and enjoyableness. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can just go see Avengers and just, like, and watch a whole bunch of pointless shit happen on screen and yeah. then a big battle at the end and be like, well, that's that. Yeah, that was Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those visual effects. I mean, good. if you're getting tired, you can just close your eyes. Like, uh, if you're watching Fantastic Four and you're getting tired, you're like... It's because there's nothing going on and you just, like, fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. Michael Bay should advertise his new movies like that. If something is happening and you don't like it, just close your eyes. There's a... <laughs> there's, like, a... There's a special, uh, space, uh, between, like, um between trying too hard and trying too little that you have to be in and uh disney disney got that like pinpointed that sweet spot first and i think that now uh marvel's trying to do it yeah and now uh, they're they're doing all right like they're making okay movies i mean like you wouldn't buy the blu-ray or anything but it seems a little bit it's like a it's kind of corporate and calculated yeah the way they got it planned out like you can go but to, But like, Disney was the same way. I know, at Comic-Con, like, uh, you can see their graph of when their movies are going to come out <laughs> way in the future. Like, they've yeah. got up to the 2030s planned. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy. Like, uh, and you know you're going to just... But the plan, like, the moment they make, like, uh, one penny less than they expect, they're going to cut that plan yeah, right off. Yeah, like that's a, what's so like scary, is that you know that it could just die instantly. Uh -huh. If a movie comes out and doesn't do good, like, uh... Like, is it, and then people also bring up the idea to me, uh, with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, are we getting to the point where comic books diverged into, uh, hardcore graphic novels that only, uh, people who really knew the canon could read, mm -hmm. and, and comics that were just one-offs, so that split point in the 80s? Are we getting to that point with the movies where you need to have watched so many prerequisite movies to understand what's happening that the barrier to entry is too high? Yeah. People are making that complaint. If with, that comes uh, up, then... Because it's, it's going to get to a point where you're going to have uh, Avengers Infinity War, or whatever it is, I don't know, and you had to have watched Iron... You had to have watched Captain America Civil War, mm -hmm. and to understand that, you had to watch Age of Ultron. And understand that you had to watch Captain America: The Winter Soldier. It, like, are you getting to a point where you've killed the uh, the uh, entry point? Like, yeah. the same way that what almost killed comics. Well, the why why you had to keep rebooting connect, comics? Connecting all the universes uh, is what killed comics for me. Yeah. So, and it's what killed the movies for me. Yeah. Like I stopped. I stopped watching the movies too. Yeah, it's because so. you knew the investment level was too high than you were willing to give it. Yeah. Like you're already I mean, I'm a, not gonna I'm not gonna buy a hamburger 
that requires that I have eaten had eaten McDonald's uh, new uh, like uh, Chipotle chicken salad or something uh, to appreciate it. Yeah, if that is, if that's required to <laughs> no, enjoy a no, Big you, Mac, uh, then I'm not going to no, get a Big Mac. Uh, you wouldn't uh, go to get a Big Mac if you knew that the sequel Big Mac was coming out tomorrow and was going to be better. So you just wouldn't bother. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that too. That too. And you had to have under you had to have tried the old Big Mac to understand the new Big Mac. Mm-hmm. Like, everything's come becoming a fast food reference for no reason. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's just uh, the level of uh, investment that the average person has in areas other than the cinematic universe is going to increase. And mm-hmm. people won't be able to spend the time to invest to get into these things. Yeah. Yeah. Suffice to say, I don't know if they're going to get up to the phase four or whatever the hell it is. Nobody held these movies in high regard anyway. They got high ratings because they uh they were worth like going into a theater if you had the time and watching them. Yeah, and DC like uh DC's trying to do it too. They're trying to get it into the cinematic universe thing. Mm-hmm. And they got they started it off with Man of Steel. Yeah. I don't know. They if they were thinking about that beforehand, but Man of Steel was the technically the first movie in the new cinematic universe it's technically the iron man because mm-hmm. uh marvel started everything with iron man at the end uh, of iron man nick fury was there yeah and that was the moment where it started the cinematic universe mm-hmm. uh, you could say iron man changed superhero movies forever like superhero movies would never be the same after that yeah because everyone would want to connect their universes so anyway man of steel is dc's iron man and now we got batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice, where at the same time we're trying to jam in Wonder Woman. just seems like you're doing a Spider-Man 3, Mm -hmm. uh, where you're trying to jam in Venom and Sandman, and probably someone else, I can't remember who was in that. Uh, And then you got Suicide Squad. It's got Will Smith, and his power is gun, and it's just so off-putting looking. And then you got they're trying. They're going to try to do another. They're going to reboot Flash and Green Lantern, and they're going to try to do Aquaman, a standalone Aquaman movie, and it's just... rebooting Green Lantern. Yeah, that's that's giving me a Fantastic Four vibe. Yeah, already. I don't know. I mean, it was too soon to make a fantastic, uh, like a movie called Fantastic Four. Yeah, I think Green uh, thing, Green Lantern, is probably the hardest. DC character to movie eyes seriously. You yeah. can make a cartoony Green I Lantern movie saying, that yeah. everyone would love, but it's so hard to make a Green Lantern movie that's serious because Green Lantern does so many strange things Yeah, with his power. Like You have to... How do you get that across? In, and, the, and the aliens look too weird. Yeah, it? I mean, it's like a mo- superhero movie that's all aliens mm-hmm. and all people who use like ring energy to like make objects out of thin air yeah. like how do you make that feel tangible to people like it's it's so mm-hmm. they're gonna have to be so delicate with it like yeah. Marvel could make a better Green Lantern movie than DC can and Marvel doesn't own Green Lantern that's yeah. what's so weird about it mm-hmm. like uh he just feels like a Marvel character that's stuck in DC 